Okay, I thought I'd do a little bit of an experiment. As you've just seen, put some black stain on three pieces of the flame maple already. That was it originally, or the other side anyway. And I've put the black stain on three of the pieces. This one I'm leaving uh, blank or plain because I've got something I'm going to do with the yellow and the blue. Um, although these are just test pieces, I may put the black on and sand it back again in the future. But that's what the black would be like on its own. If I was to just put that on, that's quite nice. Uh, but what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sand these lightly. Say so lightly, this is actually quite coarse, it's 80 grit, but it's, like I say, it's just for the test. Um, I would normally wait for the ink, uh, the ink, the stain to dry first, but for the sake of this video, I'm just doing it a bit while well, it's uh, still a little bit wet. And also, I would recommend normally uh, wearing gloves, but as it is, I haven't got any to hand or on my hands. That'll do. This is just a very quick test. Just like to say this isn't I'm not saying this is how you should do any staining or testing. Oops. Um it's not how I normally work. Um or what I will be doing when I come to actually do the guitar. But these are all off cuts, so I'm not overly worried. I'm just trying to get an idea. These are crimson stunning stains. This is the green. I really like this one to be fair. We'll get some pictures of these. Um, afterwards to put up. Right. We'll save that one till last. This is the uh, Crimson uh, Denim Blue. for the crimson purple I'm not going to use the amber one on this the photos I put up on Instagram earlier I'd mixed I'd, I'd done a small piece in fact let me just see if I can find it where I'd faded the yellow onto the amber and I do like it uh, but for this little experiment when I get to it, I'm going to be using um, the yellow and the blue. Uh, this one is the purple.
that as well. <laughs> right, here we go. Probably just a clean sponge, bit of sponge for this. I'll put it on the one side. Yeah, there you go. That's why you need gloves. While it's still wet, we'll get the Crimson Royal Blue. Try and find a, <laughs> a clean part. Might have gone a little bit excessive with that. Yeah, completely. <laughs> work as I planned but that was really my own fault for being so excessive with the blue I think over a bigger area the blue fade into a yellow could look quite nice especially with the green in the middle I like that Actually, I imagine if I had put the black on first, the flames would have been a little bit more, well, would have been more highlighted. I'm going to have a look at the green here. Camera's really not doing it much justice, unfortunately. Like I say, I'm going to get some photos of these. From on Instagram afterwards. Anyway, there you go. That was just a quick test to see um, how the stains would look on a slightly bigger piece of maple than the small slithers that I used earlier um, on the pictures that are on uh, my Instagram. Links in the description if you want to go and have a look at them. There's going to be pictures of these as well on there. Hopefully that they will uh, give you a better view as to how they, they actually turned out. Um, what I will say is, as the uh, yellow to blue has dried a bit more, it's actually turned out a bit more vivid than I thought. So um, I think with a, a light sanding that would blend quite nicely. Um, bear in mind as well that uh, these haven't got the um, oil finish on yet although I'm quite tempted uh, with the wipe on lacquer that Crimson do I haven't uh, got any but I've got to order some uh, black stain before I can do anything on this um, colour wise and um, what I'm going to do out of the pieces that I've put on that you've just seen me stain the colours I've used. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it open to a vote. I think I've said it before. Um, I had a vote on uh, the type of uh, guitar I'd be building, and that was quite good. It was nice to sort of have some uh, interaction from you. So I'm gonna do the same with this. Those are the colours. If you want to see better pictures of them, check the link out in the description to the Instagram and uh my instagram anyway and there'll be some better pictures on there of these pieces and like i say they haven't got the the finish coat on so it's not a hundred percent accurate uh but it will give you a better idea uh give me some feedback tell me what you think 
uh, as to the colour or colours I should be using on my great guitar build off entry for this year 2021. Anyway, enough waffle. There'll be a, a video coming hopefully this weekend, maybe middle of next week, depending on editing time. Um, and that's uh, for the body. A lot of work's gone into that. Uh, still more to do, but hopefully um, that will be done soon. So we'll be on to putting the colour on. So hurry up and get your votes in. I want to crack on. Anyway, there you go. Uh, again, enough waffle. If you uh, want to see more, want to see how this build turns out, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, hit the bell so you uh, know when that video goes live and uh, leave me a comment let me know what you think I'll uh, about the color you know not me <laughs> anyway uh, see you soon thank you very much for watching take care